back to the channel. So uh, today we're finally going to show you the Mazda RX-7 right behind me. It's a, a 1992 Mazda RX-7 FD3S. Uh, we picked this thing up in Japan in 2018. Uh, actually, while stationed in Iwakuni, Japan, and then brought it back over here to the States. So a lot's been done to it. Um, when we picked it up, it did not look anything like it sits today. It actually was automatic. Um, and now it's manual. Also, the paint job was completely different, different wheels, all that stuff. So uh, we'll show you the entire journey uh, from the day we picked it up until what it looks like now. So stay tuned. Okay. Stay tuned. white paint that we got done January of last year I think last before we painted it it was this nasty gray color and it was all faded from the sun uh, first off we have this 99 spec bumper which looks really a lot more cleaner than the older ones uh, here's a custom little duct license plate cover thing that Dad custom made and CAD and 3D printed and then painted. Uh, if you come around here. Oh, don't yeah. forget about the carbon fiber ducts that we made. I'm not sure if you could see that, but it's a carbon fiber duct for the old cooler. Uh, we'll be making some of these for the Nissan Z32, so we'll show you how to do that. Next, we got these Kansai K something. K and P. KMPs, and then we upgraded the brakes. Actually, it came with the upgraded Mazda Speed front brakes. Uh, next, we have these carbon fiber side skirts from Shine Auto. Shine Auto. Uh, and we have these 
nice Ganadors that we painted with the car. Uh, we have a nice sunroof, only comes on automatic cars in Japan, pretty sure. But we swapped it over manual, so that's the both world. Don't forget about the carbon fiber skin door handles. Yeah, the carbon fiber skin door handles. Custom made. Might be showing you how to do that on this pro on this channel too. Uh, same company, Shine Auto. Uh, what's that called? Rear diffuser. Rear diffuser. And a knockoff exhaust. I've been begging him to change out. Where's that exhaust from? I have no idea. It's the exhaust that came with the car. Yeah. And you got these nice Seven Day stickers, all three years. Make sure to subscribe. We'll be doing a video later on Seven's Day, New York City Seven's Day. That's it for the exterior. So inside the car, we've got uh, Fujita Engineering Development, uh, carbon fiber door seals, pick those up while in Japan. Same thing with the floor mats, we picked those up from Autobox in Japan. Um, the car came with this Fujita Engineering and Development uh, auto dimming mirror, pretty cool, never seen anything like it before. Uh, previously, it had wood grain, all these panels were wood grain, so we swapped them out with the right stuff. And then we added the personal steering wheel. Uh, also. Uh, we're running a wide band and a Grady boost controller so that way we can make sure we don't over boost and blow the engine keep a close eye on those air fuel ratios uh, as far as the interior we also put these uh, bride japan seats i got these seats while in japan they look pretty cool but they're not comfortable at all but they do have this really nice um carbon fiber back i don't know if you can show that jonah looks really cool and they're really lightweight too uh, also, we've upgraded to the aluminum uh, gas pedal from uh, Garage Alpha, I believe it is. So it makes it look like a nice, complete set. And then I think also an in interior. Let's show them the trunk real quick. Subscribe. All right, so in the trunk real quick. I also made these uh, carbon fiber covers. Uh, it's a 3D printed base. You can actually get the file on Thingiverse if you're looking for it. And then I just skinned it in carbon fiber so it looks nice uh, to complete that look where the Bose speaker is missing. I ripped out the entire Bose system. Um, that's all I can think about for the inside. Is there anything else, Joe? Um, just the Momo shift knob up there. Oh, yeah, we put a little shift knob in there. That's about it, I guess. 